Video editors, this trick that I'm about to show you is gonna change your life. I use Premiere Pro and my content producer, Peter, just showed me this crazy trick regarding installing Mogarts that completely changed my world. It turns out I've been installing Mogarts incorrectly this entire time, I'm talking years. I'm curious to see if you're going to relate to this. So let's, for example, say that we just downloaded a bunch of Mogarts. For example, we'll use our new Lens Distortion E-Prism Lens Filter Pack. And just a side note, Peter, the person I just talked about, was the main designer for this pack. It's, this is literally one of my favorite packs that we're currently selling on the store. So prepare for a short little plug. These filters are literally the digital cousins of those physical lens distortion prisms that you often see on music video shoots. Trust me, they can transform your footage into something extraordinary. So going back to the tutorial, say you've downloaded this ePRISM pack, you bring it into Premiere and you realize that all these are are just a bunch of Mogarts. Historically, I've guided folks to drag and drop Mogarts directly into the Essential Graphics folder once you've downloaded them onto your computer. If you can't see your Essential Graphics folder, just click on your Window tab and make sure that the Essential Graphics folder is checked. While this easy drag and drop method works, it doesn't allow for organizing storage in specific folders. On my Premiere Pro interface, I have literally downloaded so many Mogar packs. And as you can see, my central graphics panel just resembles a digital jungle at this point. Absolutely no organization. So what is the solution for neatly categorized Mogarts? Guys, it's all in the installation approach. First, just clear out all of the Mogarts from your central graphics panel. We're just gonna start fresh. Now, right click on the three bars in the upper right hand corner of your central graphics folder. Now click manage additional folders. Now click add. Now add the folder that has all of your Mogarts in it. Make sure to title the folder appropriately after it's been added into Premiere Pro. Now click OK. Now go back to the Browse tab and click off of everything. Now make sure that only local is clicked. Now you can choose which specific folder of Mogarts that you want to see at a time. Thanks for watching.